hero Pauli Malinacci and adopted son Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen welcome giant killer Danny Garcia as he looks to finish his business with a legendary Eric Morales. Oh, I'm not tough from Garcia. World champions are back in Brooklyn. Plus, Randall Bailey defends his belt against Devin Alexander for World Championship fights Saturday, October 20th at 8, only on Showtime. has been great, you know, um, after the incident with the back issue, we just came back and got back to working hard. Um, no, I, I don't think it was a lucky punch, it was just, it was just me sitting and waiting, waiting to land, land the right punches, you know. I knew once I hit him, I was going to hurt him, you know, because I had been saying it the whole, I had been saying it before the fight. And even in all the press conferences, I told everybody I was gonna knock him out. So it was just a matter of me, me catching him. I think this fight will be a, a, a lot more different because he's a lot smaller than Mike Jones. Mike Jones was a big, a big guy, you know. So it, it probably took me a little longer to get to him. But Devin, being a smaller guy, you know, I should be able to get to him a lot faster. Well, if I catch him, he won't have a chance to quit. He, he'll, he'll, it'll definitely be over, you know. And in regards to that fight, I don't, I don't think. I thought he had, he had a lot of ammunition for his decision because his, his trainer lost confidence, you know. what I'm saying in the fight because, you know, everybody gets headbutted in fights, you know. But for a trainer to, to, to throw in a towel because a guy is cut is, is, I've never seen that before, you know, I've never seen that before. So I think the train, I think the corner quit before the fighter did in that fight, but, you know, on October 20th, I plan on give them, giving them a reason for everybody to want to say, you know what, let's throw in the towel. <laughs> hey, I like all the talk. I like all the talk because at the end of the day, he putting pressure on his guy, you know. His guy got to live up to all that nonsense he talking, you know, and when everything he's, he's showing him is not there in the ring, you know, he's going to be doing more yelling in the corner like he always do, you know. He, all, he, he yells in the corner, you know, that's, I don't understand all that. That's crazy. Me, I... I'm just not, I'm just comfortable right now. You know, when I get in the ring, I'm comfortable. I'm not worried about what the, what the guy's gonna do, you know. Like I said, in the, in the Mike Jones fight, the first 30 seconds of the fight, I know what he, know what he wanna do. I, I, I caught him with a right hand in the back of the head, grazed him, and in the first round, and after that, he took off. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the same thing in this fight. When, I, when the bell rings, I'm gonna walk straight across to Devin and the fight is gonna begin. And the first 30 seconds of this fight, I'm gonna know exactly what he wanna do. Truthfully, I don't think he's gonna sit and trade punches with me. That's just, that's just ridiculous. Uh, that's, 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 that, that, that'll be the dumbest move he can make. That fight will be over so fast. You know, so I'm, me, myself, I expect him to come out and try to box me and try to counter. But, you know, like I said, he's a lot smaller than Mike Jones, and I'll be able to get a lot closer to him faster than I was with Mike Jones. I really don't have no problems with Devin. You know, it, Devin ain't been really saying nothing. It's his trainer that's been doing all the talking, and that's what that's what concerns me. I'm like, why is you doing so much talking, and you ain't gonna throw a punch in the ring? Devin got to get in the ring with me, and he's gonna be taking everything. I never say rounds, but you know, when 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 I dream and. I know I put in the work that I needed to do to produce the outcome that I want. I know it's gonna come, you know? And I, I never make predictions because I don't, you know, 
I don't want to belittle the other guy because if they do get knocked out, it's a bad feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's a bad feeling for them, but you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do. I won't have to run to the coach. Prior to the Mike Jones fight, his trainer was doing a lot of talking too, you know. At the end of the day, it wasn't even a week later, you saw on the um, internet, he left, he left and went and got another trainer. So at the end of the day, Kevin, most likely, is gonna be unemployed. I don't think, I don't think I head that far because, you know, as long as my career has been, I've never gotten fights that I've wanted. This fight just happened to be out there and I wanted it. So I went for it and it came. So after this fight, I sit back and chill with, with, with my trainer, my team, and whatever's out there for me, we'll go get it.